Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you have seen, I have already published various videos on SQL. If you are a beginner or intermediate and wants to understand the basics and how to evolve and understand the SQL queries, then I have already created the videos. But in this series, SQL Wednesdays, I will work on one query only and try to solve them according to the various requirements. So for each Wednesday, you will be seeing the short video, maybe from eight minutes till 15 minutes, where you will be seeing the interview level, like all the queries that comes in various interviews of Facebook, Instagram, or Amazon, Google. So you will be able to understand what kind of questions they ask you and how you can prepare yourself, right? So one such question is this, as you can see on the screen, so my first SQL Wednesday query is write a query to fetch the salesmen who are growing every year from 2019 till 2022. So as you can see from the dummy table, so here we can see there are only three salesmen, but in general, the data set will be huge. There may be hundreds or thousands of salesmen, right? So whatever we do that can be replicated two thousands of the salesmen, right? So we have to find that kind of solution that is dynamic and that can be used for the large data sets. So now, as we can see, there are three salesmen. So there are four records for each salesman because I have four years data, 2019, 20, 21 and 22, right? So now the question is, if the salesman, his sales is growing every year from 2019 to 2020, then 2020 to 21, then 2021 to 2022. So for example, Brad Pitt, his sales was 10,000 in 19. In 2020, it was 15,000. Then he grew to 20,000 and finally 32. So that means this salesman, he is successful in getting the sales greater than his previous year sale, right? So he will come in our output, Brad Pitt. So he will come our, uh, in our output. What about George Clooney? His sales was 23,000 in 19, then it was 18,000 in 2020. So that means he degrew in one year. We don't have to see for the further years. He already eliminated. He already got eliminated from the output. He won't come in the output because we have to fetch the salesmen who are growing every year, right? What about Tom Hanks? So Tom Hanks is 15,000 in 2019. In 2020, it was 18,000. Then sales degrew in 2021 to 17,000. So that means Tom Hanks also will not come in our output. Only Brad Pitt should come from this existing data set. So how to get th these kind of solutions? So first would be we have to partition on the basis of the salesman because we have to compare the sales for the salesman in his salesman domain itself. For example, his sales of 10,000 of Brad Pitt in 2019, I don't have to compare this with George Clooney's sales, right? Or with Tom Hanks. So these queries will run separately. For this, we can use partition, right? So there is a window function uh, where we can use lag or lead depending on the query. So now we, we have to compare this sales. So if we are getting on this row 2019 sales 10,000. So we have to compare this with the sales of the next year, right? So what we can use is we can use lag function here, right? So if we are using lag function, so that means we are comparing it with the previous year sales. So for example, if we are on 2020 and then we have to compare 15,000 with 10,000. So we will use lag function on the sales part, right? And then we will use over and then we can use partition, right? So this is a function formula, like we will use lag with over, right? Here it is vice versa. We have to compare the 2019 sales with the next year. So we have to compare 10,000 with 15,000. Then we have to compare 15,000 with 20. So we are comparing with the next year sales upcoming sales. So we will use lead in this particular problem, lead of sales, right? So now let's move to the MS SQL where I will show you how to execute these kind of queries. 
all right so now we are on the ms sql server as you can see there is the table select star from sales dump so i have already created the table sales dump if i try to execute this you will be able to see the three columns year salesman and sales right so we have the same data set we have brad pitt george clooney and tom hanks right so now we have to figure out which are the salesmen who are growing every year so first of all let me just select star and let me try to add another column here which would be the lead which will come as a fourth column so lead of sales right sales column over now we have to partition on the basis of salesman because we don't have to compare brad pitt sales by george, george clooney right so it will be over salesman right and now there's one more thing so this will be over partition by salesman right so let me try to execute this from sales dump let's see what it will give me so the function lead must have an order must have over clause with order by right so we already have over but we don't have order by right now so that was the challenge so now let me go back to the sales dump so as you can see here these this column year this is not in the ascending order you can see this is 2022 then 2021 is coming right so there might be various cases where you're comparing the sales with the next year sale which is not actually next year for example the next row after 2019 was 2022 here so you're comparing 10,000 with 15,000 but 15,000 is the sales in 2022 right so that uh, to avoid that we have to use order by so you will use over partition by salesman order by the salesman again or you can say order by year in this particular case right now let's try to execute this see now you can get the you will get the fourth column as well year column salesman column sales and this is the column which will give me the next year sales you can see 10,000 this 15,000 is here this 20,000 is coming here 32,000 is coming over here right I can name this column let's say over this as sales 2 for example right now if I try to execute this you will see the column name has been changed now I need one more column which will give me as a flag which will show me if this sales is greater than this or less than this right because of that only I will be able to figure out if that salesman should come in the output or not right so in this only right so this is my column let me just add one more column which will be the flag right so for that I need to write a loop or you can say I can write a case when this column is greater than this column right then I should get output as zero and when this column is greater than this then it should give me one because I want sales two column to be greater than sales column that is how I will get to the salesman name right so now case when the sales right when the sales column is greater than this right when this is greater than this then zero else one and I have to end the case right so now let's try to execute this so now we will get these flags let me rename this column as flag right now I want whenever the flag is one for each and every record of the salesman for Brad Pitt you can see the flag is always one right this is why 
I can uh, select Brad Pitt as an output because flag one means the sales two is always greater than sales for that particular record. You can see 2019 the sales was 10,000 in 2020 it was 15,000. So for this I can get the flag is equal to one. So now I have to get flag is equal to one as a condition. So for this I can use subqueries, right? So now I will use this query the five column table inside a query. So I will use with uh, let's say CT as this and the bracket closed. So now I have defined this query as CTE. So now whenever I have to call this, I can use the name CTE. Right. Now I need to select all the columns from sales dump, which was our uh, default table where salesman not in select salesman from CT which we defined here. So I have to select all the salesmen from here where flag is zero because here we are defining not in. We are saying it should not be in this, right? So let me just try to execute this first and then I'll explain you again. So I'm getting invalid object. Okay. I have to select these two as well, right? Because if I select this, the system won't understand what is CTE, right? Because I have defined CTE over here. So I have to select both the queries. Now try to execute. See, now you will be able to see I'm getting Brad Pitt, right? So if I want only the salesman instead of star, I will use select salesman. Right now, if I try to execute this, I will get only the salesman. Right now, if I want only once it should denote, I can write distinct salesman. So I will get the Brad Pitt only once. Right. So this, these are the outputs. For example, if I had two or three salesmen where the sales is growing every year, so instead of Brad Pitt only, I would have uh, received couple of more uh, salesman names. So whatever salesman is getting higher sales like every year. So those names will come over here. So now let's see how I you like came across this query. Right. So now what I'm saying is I have to select my particular column from the table where the salesman, where the, the Brad Pitt name is not in this when the flag is zero. So for example, in this, whenever the flag is zero, that means George Clooney, whenever the flag is zero, all those names, Tom Hanks, George Clooney, and any other name, whenever the flag is zero, I don't want to include those names. So what I'm saying is select all the columns from the table where the salesman name is not in is not in and this query when the flag is zero because this query select salesman from CT where flag is zero. This will give me George Clooney and Tom Hanks, right? So let's try to execute this. Let's see what will come select salesman. I'll just copy this. So if I try to execute this, I will get George Clooney and Tom Hanks, right? So I'm selecting salesmen from CT where flag is zero. So George Clooney and Tom Hanks. So these salesmen should not be in this. So that means salesman is equal to Brad Pitt. So I, I will get the Brad Pitt salesman. And similarly, if I have multiple uh, names where the sales is growing each year, then I will get those salesman name, right? So now, my solution would be this. 
if i execute i am getting brad pitt as my solution which is absolutely correct so here you can see i created a table right where i am having year salesman and sales three columns then i inserted the values year name salesman name and then sales right and then i try to select all the columns from the table now i have these tables let's try to input one more salesman and see what will be the output let's say the name is analytical guy 2019 20 22 21 let's try to make it in 10000 let's say 20000 then let's say 40000 this is 30000 right now let me just try to execute these four queries four rows are affected now let me select star from sales dump i am having 2019 an article guy where is where are my three other records okay i didn't change the name over here so i need to update this once again right now if i select star from sales dump i will get an article guy right now if i try to execute this see you will see an article guy and brad pitt both are coming now because for an article guy as well all the four years sales dump where salesman is equal to an article guy right so you can see 2019 the sales is 10000 in 2020 the sales is 20000 in 2021 the sales is 30000 in 2022 it is 40000 so sales is increasing each and every year right so it will this salesman is eligible to get in the output because our question was find all the salesman name wherever the sales is increasing each year right that is why in this output now i am getting both brad pitt as well as analytical guy i hope this query was useful to you you have understood how to execute this still if you feel there is a challenge if you are not able to understand lead over this is a very important function it is a window function if you are not able to understand how to use partition by then if you have to use order by or not or over what is the exact understanding of this if you want to understand more on this you can connect with me or you can comment below uh, on this video i will try to help you out all right guys so this was it in sql wednesday's query number 1 i will keep on coming with such queries on every wednesday i hope you will uh, enjoy this series and you will be benefited from these kind of videos thank you guys for watching Have a great day and share across with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.